the class of 62 at the United States Naval Academy. There are 780 graduates, all of whom receive Bachelor of Science degrees. Secretary of the Navy Fred Korth presents the diplomas after telling the new officers they are taking on the problems of the world. Ensign Arthur Hathaway is anchor man, hoisted aloft in time-honored tradition. And then the hats, too, go aloft in traditional style. In Colorado, the graduating class of the Air Force Academy numbers 297 who have completed their unique courses in preparation for aerospace careers. Vice President Johnson presents the diplomas. Delivering the Academy's fourth commencement address, he told the graduates that uncompromising courage and idealism would help them win a long campaign against communism. At the United States Military Academy, the 598 cadets about to receive their commissions are addressed by President Kennedy. He tells them they will need to understand the importance of military power and also its limits. Above all, you will have a responsibility to deter war as well as to fight it. For the basic problems facing the world today are not susceptible of a final military solution. While we will long require the services and admire the dedication and commitment of the fighting men of this country, neither our strategy nor our psychology as a nation, and certainly not our economy, must become permanently dependent upon an ever-increasing military establishment. Our forces, therefore, must fulfill a broader role as a complement to our diplomacy, as an arm of our diplomacy, as a deterrent to our adversaries, and as a symbol to our allies of our determination to support them. Mr. Kennedy is the first chief executive and first commencement speaker to be made an honorary member of the graduating class. He receives the class ring. The president shakes the hands of the first 30 graduates to come to the stand for their diplomas. The climax of another year at Uncle Sam's famed academy on the Hudson River. <laughs>